Hey there, my name is Marta Yortsoy and I'm the Director of Children's Ministries at Jupiter First Church. I'm really thankful that you are here and that we get to spend a little time in the Big God story. This week is the fourth full week of Lent. Lent started on Ash Wednesday and it lasts for six Sundays, ending with Easter. During Lent, we will remember Jesus and hear how the disciples followed Jesus wherever he went. We will prepare our hearts and minds for Easter. During Lent, we can think about walking with Jesus on a special path. When we walk on this path, we learn more about Jesus. Today, we are going to hear a story about a party, but it's also a story about different kinds of feelings. Let's pray and then we'll read the whole story together. In this prayer, you will hear some words about different feelings. When you hear a feeling word, I want you to make a face that shows what you look like when you feel that way. Let's pray. Dear God, sometimes I'm feeling happy. Sometimes I'm feeling sad. Sometimes I'm feeling sorry because I've done something bad. No matter how I feel or what I do, God, you always love me. That is always true. Thank you, God. Amen. Today's Bible story is called the prodigal son. Prodigal means someone who wastes a lot of money on silly things. Let's say the word together. Prodigal. This story is also about an angry brother and a loving and forgiving father. Our story is from the New Testament, from the Gospel of Luke. There are four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. They tell the story of Jesus's life. Our story today is also a parable. Parables are stories that Jesus told about familiar things in life to help people understand God. Let's read the parable of the prodigal son. Jesus spent time with all sorts of people, even people who had done bad things. This made some people mad. Why is Jesus always around people who do bad things? They grumbled. Jesus heard them, so he told them this story. A man had two sons. The younger son, who was a bit wild and crazy, came to his father and said, Dad, I want to get away from here. I want my money. This made the father sad, but he split his money and gave his son the part that was his. The younger son packed his bag and headed out away from home. The son traveled to a faraway country and spent all his money on fancy parties and food. Soon he had no more money and no place to stay. Lucky for him, he found a man who let him sleep in his barn if the son fed the pigs. What am I thinking, he said to himself as he fed the pigs. The men who work for my father have more than enough to eat, and here I am starving to death. I'll go home and say to my father, Dad, I made a big mistake. I'm not good enough to be your son, but would you let me work for you? So he decided to go home. While he was still far away from his house, his father saw him. His father ran and threw his arms around him. The father put a ring on his son's finger and shoes on his feet and ordered for a party to be thrown for him. The older son saw his father's servants preparing for the party and asked, what's going on? Your brother is home, said a servant, and your father is having a party. This made the older brother angry at his father. I have always done what is right, he said to his father. I've worked hard for you, but you never gave me a party. Now my brother came home after he wasted your money. Why are you throwing him a party? My son, you have always been with me, but your brother left and has now come back. Then the people understood. Jesus spent time with those people because even though they had done bad things, they decided to change their lives and live like God wanted. This made Jesus so happy. Being forgiven is so sweet. The father in today's story loved his son with his whole heart, even though he made mistakes. 
Did you know that God loves you every bit as much? We all make mistakes and bad choices, and when we do something wrong, we can ask God for forgiveness. It's also important for us to say that we are sorry to people when we hurt them too. Remember that God always loves you and forgives you. God's love and forgiveness are gifts to us. God loves and forgives other people too. We can help other people to know that God loves us even when we make mistakes. Let's pray as we close our time together. Dear God, thank you for waiting on us like a parent with open arms. Help us to be forgiving like the dad in the story and help us to remember that you forgive us when we do things we shouldn't. Help us to always feel loved and help us to know you love us even when we make mistakes. Amen. Thanks for joining me for another adventure in the Big God Story. I hope you have a great week knowing God's big love, and I hope to see you real soon.